Good evening, everyone. This is one of our evening sessions for Aussie Live 2015. And I have with me tonight Sebastian Panikal and Philou Benjamin, along with his team, who are going to take you through his session called Social Good Through Green Adventures and Connected Learning. I'm going to move straight to your presentation so that you can get underway. And I'll hand over to Sebastian. Thank you. Our project is about e-twinning and link with the, the greenery or eco-consciousness. We call it three twinning. It all started with the, the vision of the priest in charge of Assisi school. Philu, please introduce yourself and uh, move forward. I am Philu Benjamin from Assisi Vidyanigarin Public School, Kochi, India. Uh, our director is Father Matthew Kalingal. He is a very dynamic and efficient, enthusiastic, enthusiastic leader who brought out the idea of organizing a Haridha Darshan in our school. A socially good through green adventures connected with the learning. On Republic Day celebration, we heard about the Hello Little World Skypers from Sebastian Panakel. Anthe Anand and Philu Benjamin got the privilege to talk to Joe McNulty of USA. On Republic Day, we all have gathered here. Uh, Anti Anand, Philo Benjamin, we have attended Sebastian Panakel's Hello Little World Skypers. We were very impressed to know more about the Hello Little World Skypers. The, after two days, it was the founders day of Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute. ACC students and the teachers have gone on the Founders Day celebration at the Central Marine Fisheries Institute. There we got the idea of Pearl culturing and inculcate and teach and train those pearl culturing to the marginalized fisher folk. Dr. Vibin is the director of CMFRI, Central Marine Fisheries Institute, who is a very dynamic person. Yeah thought-provoking person, under his leadership, we have organized a Haridha Darshan in our school. I'm going to continue. Hello. Hello. Yes, I like to continue. It was we, from the Marine Institute, we have got some cups which we have given the theme to the students. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And those cups were brought out to the school and children have planted those spinach medicinal plants everything to those cups. The students of Assisi school nurtured those plants with so much love 
how and care they are very eager to connect with the world and fulfill the dream of tree twinning schools do e twinning but we do things differently may i talk to you we have now sebastian panikel will speak more about the activities thank you to you and i'm going back to the slide thank you number one the reason uh, this team of teachers they are very eager to connect with the world but this is the first time they are online at such an exciting platform so she told me just before this began she skyped me and told me she has butterflies in her stomach okay so i i decided to help them here you can see our priest mr matthew kalingal uh, he was yesterday at the inauguration ceremony of this tree thinning project and the inauguration was done by mr a scientist from Central Marai Fisheries Research Institute, Mr. Vidin Kumar, and of course at the back, I am there at the back here. So, this is a program where they are adding an extra step to each winning. This school is preparing to twin with the world through British Council's Schools Online dot british council dot org project but when we discuss to this to these teachers these three teachers took an extra step and said let us make this global use the hello world platform as well and let us see how things evolve so they brought up the concept of tree twinning what they are trying to do is help the students plant a sapling here and name it after a student a friend abroad through connected learning through skype they will come to schools and invite each winning at a personal level if possible at a family level the reason when we when we try to connect our students here are away when the world is asleep so teachers will not be able to moderate the use of internet or the conversations etc so we are trying to include families also into the platform so we have a platform called Sneham, which is in Sanskrit, it means love, but it's an abbreviation of social networking home. So the teachers are involved, and they are bringing even their families together. So I will go to slide two, where so you can see Philip Benjamin is talking with. Joe McNulty of USA, but at the back you can even see Ansi. On that day, Silu came in with her husband. Ansi came in with hers. So they were they are connected as families and introduced to teachers abroad. So. These teachers are now family friends. Of course, in Hello Little World, it's a big whole family. They are always connected, always interacting. 
and the project, the whole strategy is e twinning plus the green vision. The Harita Dersana in Sanskrit means green vision. The green vision of the manager of the school and that was the whole team, students, staff of the school, all together, they are now planting saplings. In one of the slides, you can see the produce the students brought for the market day at school. And students are involved in cultivating the, the school compound, all sorts of medicinal plants and vegetables and saplings of trees. So these students will take a sapling home and plant it in their own quarter. But that sapling will be named after a friend abroad. And we are inviting friends abroad to plant a sapling at their end in the name of the friend in India. So both friends are connected not only through the educational platform, through nature as well. So in a few years, when our friends visit India or our students go abroad and meet their friends as well, we will have places to hug as well as our friends. So this project has been started and we are connecting through Skype and the discussions are on already. So we became so interested through our first meet. So I'll go back to the first slide because at the beginning, the moderator privileges, my friends have been clicking and moving the slides randomly. Then if you come to move one, move to one, it goes to move two. Anyway, here the first screen. Okay, I'll come to the fourth one. Who else has to read this? I don't know who is there. To clicking and knowing the slides. Okay, on, on this slide you see our Republic Day celebration. So I got messages from 70 Hello Little World friends wishing us all the wishes on our Republic Day. That was attended by the st staff of uh, ACC School. They were so impressed by the kind of personal learning network I brought in. They wanted to join Hello Little World Skype. So I have enrolled these three teachers onto HLWS. Thereafter, we will be connecting with different teachers. The first was an interview of an astronaut, Elizabeth Eris by Steve Sherman of South Africa. Steve is an awesome teacher and he runs the livingman.com. He's also a TED presenter. Then, as and when opportunities arose, these teachers have been connecting with various teachers all over the world and they have been spreading the message of each thing or three twinning. And now we show you the, the plants, the sapling, the trees, all ready for the naming ceremony. So we are looking forward to global connections and schools to connect with us to ACC school and through the leadership of these teachers, we can twin, re twin, and also pre twin. We need the greenery back. It seems we are 
or exploiting, exploiting nature. We need to plant much more trees and we need to love nature. The love of nature and that message is, will be spread by active participation of all the students. There are around 2,800 students in RCC itself. At the moment, a parents day is going on in the school and also the market day. Parents are all interested in connecting through this platform. Under their moderation, the students will connect with families abroad, schools abroad, and the conversation will go on. They will all learn from each other, learn international culture, learn to live together peacefully, coexist, sharing the resources of the world, and all these messages have been encapsulated into our free cleaning project. At the moment, the teachers are, have not been prepared for a global education conference. That is why I just to chip in. Now I will invite a civil friend, Fija, who is beside her, to introduce herself and talk about her experience. Speaker. you speak up, please. Uh, Sebastian, we can hear you very well, but not the next speaker, whoever that is to be. I understand. Philo, please speak up. Uh, Sebastian, I think Philo just dropped out. Let me see if she's in the audience. No. So she dropped. Oh, yeah, here she is. She's here. Philo, you just need to click on the talk button. Can you see the talk button? Uh, Sebastian, did you test Philo's audio? It looks like she might have a few microphone issues. So Philo, just click on the talk button. I see her with the mic on and then it comes back with a little red dot. So she may have bandwidth issues. Would that be right, Sebastian? Is the internet very strong where she is? I'm afraid not. I, I saw her dropping out and coming back online. So can you keep talking, Sebastian, until Philo might <coughs> get her microphone to work? I have a question. When you talked about Republic Day, is that the same date as our Australia Day, like Australia, um, January the 26th? Because that always fascinates me that we share common country days. Uh, Sebastian, I see Philo has dropped out again and come back in. Does anyone have questions for Sebastian? 
I think it's amazing that we have speakers from India telling us of some of the amazing things that they're doing and it would be great if you could drop a question in the chat until we get the loose audio sorted out. Okay, Anne, I will do. I better put myself back in the room and uh, welcome Sebastian to come back to the lectern and turn on the talk button. Yes. And, and we'll yes. see if you have any questions of us. Oh, there's a question from Ness for you, Sebastian. Can you read that? What are the main reasons around your focus on sustainability? Yes. One reason is that our people, most of them are not, say, rich enough to afford computers, etc. We are trying to connect through as a group and uh, share our facilities to the public. So these teachers have also agreed to promote the activities of uh, Central Marayan Research Institute of Government of India so that the research projects benefit the poor community. Uh, the teachers, this is a story the teachers told me when they visited Central Marayan Research Institute with the students last month. They saw the poor women bringing in fish and selling it there in the research institute, at the research institute, they were ready to cook. Okay, it's a good business activity. But the CMFRA also has support for culturing pearls. But it still remains as a research, research project in the shelves of CMFRA because the government, the government staff do not go and meet the public and educate them. So this vacation, these teachers and me as volunteers of Hello Little World Skypers are going to move around villages and the, and the poor fish of fox and educate them on how to make value added things or how to be how to use the existing resources and be a lot more richer as well. So we are promoting the green revolution through schools and we will distribute saplings in different communities and help them with the same message. If, if you plant this sapling in your courtyard, you are a front of ours. We have a common point to discuss. That's true. And we will be connecting on Skype, talking to each other, local, as well as global, in order to help them improve their communication skills, then they are spoken English, and of course, when we go global, we will naturally be able to promote through Hello Little World Skype. I see uh, uh, Vice Principal Ansi, who was not around, she has just stepped in from the school. I arranged this nearby the school because the teachers had to take 10 or 20 minutes break and come here. She is here. She will talk to you about her vision as well. I will just talk and over the headset to her and she will sit on my chair and talk to you. Thank you, Sebastian. I've been listening carefully to what you had to say. And I'm wondering if anyone else would like to speak into the microphone now. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, I am Ansi Anand. 
Hello, and good, good to see you. you. Yeah, nice to be, see you. How are you? I'm very well. Yeah, thank you. I'm also good. Uh, just now we have finished uh, the Hydrogen Darshan program. It is a program aimed to get a habit of cultivation in their own houses, the students. And from CMFRI, that is a Marine Fisheries Institute, Research Institute, we have collected around 2,000 base paper glasses and children of our school, they have planted saplings in their base cup. This is how we have done this. And we have sold these paper cup saplings to the parents and the grandparents of our school today. And there was a good response from the te uh, teachers as well as the students and the parents. And the children are motivated to do the same cultivation in their own houses. And the money that we are collecting today is for a good cause. We want to build a rainwater harvesting in our school. Even though it's a big school and we have here for the last 20 years, the dream was not fulfilled. This year we are planning to have it with this money. And the children are very much inspired and motivated by the response of the parents and the nearby community. Thank you for that. <laughs> that is a great cause, okay. as Ness says. The rainwater system is a great way to be sustainable. And I must say, I'm really impressed with the the wonderful, what's the, the right word? Camaraderie, I think, is a good word. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing yeah. in these pictures. Yeah. Okay, okay so I'll hand over the, back yeah. to Sebastian. Yeah, thank you. So there's a question there from Anne for you, Sebastian. What did the community think of the project? What about the parents and, and grandparents? Did they support you? Did they think it was they a good are all, They are all eager. They have applauded. They have they assured their support to the school, but this is going to be extended to other schools as well because the next two months are summer vacation and uh, these four teachers and me will be moving around and conduct sessions in YMCA, church parish halls, etc. to spread the news and the awareness and get more and more people involved in this socially beneficial activity. We need to recharge the water because the water table is going down. And we need to have much more greenery it is getting hotter and hotter and the weather is going from bad to worse. So the future belongs to the young children here now. So they are aware, they are eager. The parents are also uh, the interested in the project, what FEC does is provide that top leadership and the initiative of these three teachers is well worth applauding. That's why I travelled all the way to their school to arrange this in an office nearby the school itself so that they can come in and participate at 10 minutes break from the school. The we, we sit beside the school, that is why there is a lot of background noise as well. <laughs> I apologize for that. No need to apologize. I'm getting a fuller picture now as to what you have to contend with in your various areas. And I know that bandwidth is a problem there 
your connectivity, but what you're doing for your networking amongst your younger students and giving them an awareness of the, the really good features of networking through tree twinning, I think is marvellous. So uh, with that, let's find out if you have any more to add to our conversation or do you want to wrap up? You want to wrap up. Wrapping up, okay, over to you. Uh, maybe you have a final slide to share while you wrap up. Finally, okay, I'll move over to the last slide. The, in the, this is the inauguration of this, the student leaders themselves and of course the principal and the scientists and uh, other leading members of the school. They are all eager, but students are in the forefront of whatever activity this school does. So students will eat twin and treat twin and they will, they will all work together for a better, peaceful tomorrow. Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to present. Thanks to all the sponsors of all the e -Live and all those volunteers and facilitators. Thank you very much, Coach Carol, Annie Merson, and everyone here. Thank you. Take a bow. I'm really impressed with all your hard work and your willingness to step outside your comfort zone. You were in here earlier practicing and you show such passion. Yes, Anne, I agree with that. Keep up that work. We really want to see you back again next year and we'll see even greater developments. You will, I promise. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, thank you once again to everyone who joined in and remember that you will see an exit survey as soon as you get out of this room. Uh, there's no rush though. Uh, the next session, our last keynote for today does not begin for another little while. We've got uh, Georgina Pazzi at 8 p.m. So that's about 20 minutes from now. And I'll just see if I can get the link for you. Should be able to find that one fairly quickly. And I'll put it into the check chat for you in case you just want to go straight there. So she's in room 27. And here's your... Oh, no, that's not what I thought I was going to... Uh, that didn't work. What happened there? Maybe it didn't copy. Let me try that again. Yes, Carol. Yeah, there you go. There's your link to the next session if you wanted to join us for our last keynote. And at that point, yes. I'll um, stop the recording. Thank you.